something quite concerning has happened in our base since the last episode. And no, it's not the upside down cows, nor the addition of sandstone. It's not even the fact that our enchantment house is now just outside on the dirt. It's not even the sign. Which which we should totally talk about. Apparently we are broke now because Etho has gone on a shopping spree. No, what I'm referring to is a party. An overcrowded party. <laughs> so I logged on and noticed that my frames were extremely low. And yeah, I think this is why. Hold on, let me try and get in here. I can't, I can't even... I can barely get in here and get past. This is... This is ridiculous! Look at them all! <laughs> if I just stand still and don't touch my keyboard, I'm still get I'm I'm getting moved around. Uh, this is very, very, very claustrophobic and very horrible. Where's this cal? Hello? <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> now unfortunately, this is not very good for the base. It's not very good for my health, and it's not very good for for the server. So I, I, I have, don't look at me like that, please. Stop judging me, I have to do something. No, this is my stone. No, my block. Hmm. Well, that was awful. The good news is, by, by totally random chance, Mendy Boy lives. Hello. <laughs> he's got a, he's got a headache. <laughs> I do really have to deal with this house properly. Uh, may maybe later. It's kind of like cleaning your room. You you want it done, but you, you got you got other things you want to do more. Now another big thing that has happened since last episode is that me and Etho went to the Nether. Bro, my sword sucks. It's got sharpness three. This is the sword you have made me. It's sharpness three. We got looting. It's we got have looting. a sharp, We have a sharpness four sword here though. I don't know if you, if you deserve that, though. Wait, wait. I have present for you. Hold on. I, I want something good. Ah? Uh? That's, that's pretty good, yeah. Ah? Uh? Ito, uh, man. Boop, boop. boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, are you ready, Yuskill? I'm, I'm getting excited for this. Whew. This is going to be fun. Operation Wither Skulls. You know what would be a really big, elaborate prank, but quite funny? What's that? To build a fake nether fortress and see someone turn it into a wither skeleton farm. <laughs> These guys aren't spotty. What's going on? I've been here for hours. I don't actually own a shovel. Really? They're great. You can dig stuff with them. I know. They are like my Etho. He can dig stuff for me. <laughs> uh huh. Remember that time when we spent hours looking for that one wither skeleton that despawned on you? <laughs> Well, oh. well, well. Well, uh oh, I know what that means. Uh, I'm hearing some here. Oh, there's some just spawned by you. You got two. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Competition's <laughs> over. You win. I'm done. <laughs> we need one more, though, bro. <gasps> you got it? You got it? Oh, yeah. oh. We got him. We got nice. him. Skill. See, that wasn't too bad. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, hello? Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was really hoping that Etho had, had already by now taken care of the next, the next part in the process of a beacon. But... Well, for now, for now we got a skullem, skullem pole. Actually... <laughs> skullem pole. A sign of power. <laughs> I am a little bit concerned because I don't know where my trident is. I put it away somewhere safe before going into the nether in case I would die. And it is, it is, it is gone. Where did I put it? Why, why would it be in a furnace? <laughs> why would it be in a furnace? This is very, very, very concerning. Very stressful. I do not want to spend another six hours getting a new trident. Which, by the way, in Java, you can't drown zombies and kill them to get a trident. You have to find a naturally spawned trident uh, drowned. Hello? Sir? Are you responsible? Are you responsible of the trident? Where is my trident? Meh. That's a, that's a grin. M mambo? Hello? M mambo? 
I, I love our new, I love our new pet. Also, this is very nice. Bamboo, like printing money. Oh, I find it, found it. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's such a relief. I'm gonna give it to you. I can't believe I missed the opportunity, but this is, of course, a Rupot. <laughs> yes, you, you are, you are a Rupot. Now, if I haven't made it clear already, let me clarify. I am absolutely in love with my Riptide Trident, and getting around with it is super fun. This, this flight from here to here, oh, it's really, really scary. Also nailed it, first time. And while I do understand that equipping an elytra on top of this would be really cool, I've, I've got a little bit of an idea. I want to start a club, NWC, the No Wings Club. And basically, this club would be all about bragging rights. The longer you go without using an elytra on the Hermitcraft server, the better bragging rights you receive. I need to come up with a plan for this. I knew all of that birch from Gem would come in handy. Because let's be honest, there's no better sign than birch. Right, let's lay out a simple plan. Anyone can join, even those who already have an elytra. Yes, because I do know that quite a few people already have their wings. Five different tiers of bragging rights. Measured in Minecraft days. And now I have to come up with the tiers. Tier 1. 100 days. And the way we're going to calculate the days is actual playtime minus any AFK time on the server. And one day we'll calculate as 10 minutes. I guess I should write that down. There we go. Measuring days on an SMP is not as easy as single player because if someone sleeps, the day is no longer than 10 minutes, depending on when they go to sleep. But we'll just have this this as a as a general as a general thing. I suppose it's better to figure out the highest tier first. Tier 5. 1 thousand days. That's a big number. And that means tier 2, 250 days. Tier 3, 500 days. Tier 4, 750 days. Next, we need a reward. Something that you can use to brag with. Now, luckily, this season of Hermitcraft, we are using a custom data pack that allows us to create vanity items in game and this data pack has been created by Muki Tanuki who is also the author of our armor stand book you know the things where we can change armor stands to look like anything hopefully this works all i have to do is type this command while holding our nuggets and yes yes that's so awesome so if a hermit completes a hundred days they get the Wooden Medal of No Wing Club. That's honestly looking so good. And here's the next one for Tier 2. Bronze. Bronze Medal Awarded. For Tier 3, we have Silver Badge. And Tier 4, now it's getting real fancy. Gold. And the final tier, 1000 days, is the fanciest yet. The Prismatic Shifting Medal of No Wings Club. And of course, if you do reach tier 5, you'd keep every single medal. Now, of course, I want as many hermits as possible to join the club. And as such, we need a headquarters, a place to sign up, a place where you can see the bragging rewards that you can get. And because we don't really have a shopping district or like a central district this season, I, I, I want to build this somewhere in the savannah. I mean, it is quite ironic to have... A sign-up place unaccessible without wings. I think I know what I want to do. I want to hang a house right there. <laughs> first things first, I need to get some materials for this. For this build, I want to use spruce, some jungle logs, maybe a little bit of dark oak. And I really want to try and use deep slate for the roof. Luckily, Etho has been a busy man. I'm also going to need a bunch of oak. What is- oh, what is this? Ah, oh, Etho. This is just unacceptable. Finally, I need a lot of the grindstones, because chains. And this house is gonna be hanging. I'm not entirely sure 
how to start this off because, well, there's, there's no terrain to build off of. But hopefully I can locate that spot from up top there. <laughs> this is going to be really difficult to know where it is. 89. Okay, if my calculations are correct, we dig right here all the way down. And I should really invest in a better shovel. <laughs> This is going to be very scary, but hopefully, hopefully I measured this correctly. Wow, this is, this is, this is far down, <laughs> very far down. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's looking pretty good, actually. So now all I gotta do is jump down, place water, land in the water, and then water stare myself down and build a little platform. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Uh, okay, got the water placed. This is the weirdest thing ever to watch. <laughs> An egg? No. Ooh, more for the skull and pole. As always, I don't really have a plan for this. It's gonna be a hanging house. That's, that's all I know so far. And for comedic effect, I want it to hang in these giant chains in the roof. So, we're gonna have one chain right here. And I, ca I can't place the last one, I need more blocks underneath. Wait a minute. Aha! And then another chain on the other side of the roof. So far, so good. And now if my math is correct, which is not a good thing to bet on, this should be the floor level. I am literally building this house backwards. <laughs> Hmm, that looks a bit wrong. It's starting to look like a house. This is way more difficult than I, than I thought to build a house backwards. I gotta say though, this deep slate stuff for roofs, br brilliant. We got business in front. But still very much party in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna use chocolate doors for our new house. Brilliant. And I really loved this little look. And I've just learned that you have to light these with a flint of steel, which is totally awesome. They don't seem to give off a lot of light though, do they? <laughs> now I haven't actually had a look at this house from, from down there, so... I think that's a good next, next step. Hmm. I should maybe have hung it a little bit further down. It does look really cool. It does look really cool up there. I think this waterfall right here has to go though. And also the water that's going through it. Wait a minute. You're not, you're not moss. <laughs> Hello? Get off my house. Yep. A lot better without that waterfall. Hmm, I'm not a big fan of the underneath though. I got a little bit of an idea. I'm hoping to potentially be able to make it look like it's ripped out a little bit of the a little bit of the floor. Yes, that's that's looking like a mess. I never thought I'd say this, but I I don't like the leaves. It looks a bit weird, but I'm a fan. I like this. Hmm. Yeah, that totally works. Oh, that's looking really cool. And also, I did add a little chimney in the back there. All right, now that we have a house, we need to make a sign-up station and an information board. Hmm, I think I'm gonna need a lectern and a book for this. Dear Hermit, welcome to NWC HQ. This no-wing club awards the Hermit who manages to travel the lands and not use an elytra. There are five different tiers displayed on the information wall, each of which are rewarded depending on the amount of days in-game you can go without using an elytra. Anyone can join and membership is free. The registration is open as long as there are bragging medals to be had. Because this is an SMP, calculating days can be tricky, Therefore, one day is to be considered 10 minutes of actual playtime. AFK time needs to not be calculated. Upon reaching a tier goal, please contact this skull and your medal will be delivered. You can also join if you already have an elytra, and the time starts when you sign up. 
So if you flew here and signed up, now is the time to take off your wings. Using the light route resets the time to day zero. Good luck and may the bragging medals hang high on your walls in the near future. Hopefully that covers everything. And I gotta say, just putting these medals on the walls here, this house, this house is looking really cool. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. Oh no, I completely forgot to inform how to sign up. This is gonna be a little bit budget. Sign up below. Hmm. Some paper and my sign up because I will be participating. No Elytra for a thousand days. I really, I really want, I really want this medal. I want every single medal. They look really, really cool. Now with No Wings Club open and a window still missing, it's time for something completely different. Now with No Wings Club officially opened, make sure you go and tell your favorite hermit, it's time to move on to something completely different. Nope, doesn't do anything for me. A bird whispered in my ear, it was a pesky bird, that our dear Grian has made a spiritual successor. <laughs> to his tag game and we like tag. So I'm gonna head over to Botham and have a look if I can sign up. Oh my goodness, this is defended. I guess don't underestimate big magma cubes in a small corridor. That was, there was three of them. Oh, it would have been impossible for our dear potato man to pass through here without killing anything. <laughs> Welcome to G-Train, or Grain, please buy. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's, that's, that's a very fun, that's a very funny idea for a shop. <laughs> this is, this is how I felt, this is how I felt about the Omega Tree many times last season. <laughs> that's looking, that's looking absolutely awesome. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is what I came for. Yep, oh my goodness, there are a lot of signs. Grian is not a fan of lecterns. Welcome to Teg, the spiritual successor to Tag. This game is all about the famous dragon egg. The idea is simple, all you have to do is to be the owner of the egg. The current owner of the egg must incorporate it into their house. You can do this subtly or very subtly to avoid the egg being found. The other player's job is to find the egg, to find and take the egg back. First to own the egg for 500 Minecraft days is the winner and claims all the diamond blocks inside the egg. Grian will track the game and has final say and on points and rules. One diamond block to enter and the game officially starts July 4th. That's tomorrow. The egg will start in Grian's base. A tracker is on Discord to see who has the egg and for how long. Good luck. Uh, I, I, I may have a problem. Just a little bit of a problem. Just one of those problems. Yep, we are, we are most definitely broke, Mr. Etho. It also seems like we're running out of steak. Gonna have to eat a baked mambo jumbo, I guess. I'm pretty sure that Etho has been mining directly under our base, but hopefully I can get lucky doing a little bit of branch mining. Now, usually when I search for diamonds, I much prefer to be diamond caving. But then I'd have to go outside of the continent, and then if I die, it would be really bad. So hopefully we can just strike some luck. Oh, <laughs> well, hello there. Yes! Is it just gonna be one? No, two. Oh, oh, aha! Uh -huh. It's an eight. And we got fortune three on the pick air. Wait, did I get, I got one and then four, okay. 20 diamonds! Brilliant! That was actually quite lucky. This is the entirety of that tunnel that I just dug. Oh no, Etho, what is this? The one thing worse than horses. Hello. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work, seeing how me and Etho are sharing the base. Do we, do we play this game together? Do we hide the egg together? Or do we have to build sub-bases? in order to be able to hide the egg. I guess I'll have to shoot Grian a message and find out. Nevertheless, I got the block of diamond. Now, where do I leave my name? I guess I just plonked down my block of diamond. I suppose I do have video evidence <laughs> of signing up and paying for it. I'm excited about this. This is gonna be really fun. Now, I do have two diamonds to spare, but it's three diamonds for one book. Oh, I could have used a silk touch one. 
Oh! Oh, hello! Found some good wares. Yes, but too broke. <laughs> My goodness, what have they done to this poor goat? <laughs> My book's bus. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, I forgot to say goodbye. Goodbye, Pearl. <laughs> I do want to say we have proximity voice this season, but for some reason it's not working for me at the moment. So it was quite awkward as I was trying to talk to Pearl. I hope I hope she doesn't think less of me <laughs> after that. Now it's become somewhat of a custom for me and Ito to exchange messages and gifts on this here wall. And although we are still kind of broke, I did get some diamonds, so I guess I have to change this for another message. Etho, check out No Wings Club Hanging House. <laughs> Gonna make this one light blue. Yeah, there we go. Changing it up and I guess I should clear this up otherwise <laughs> otherwise uh, Ethel is probably gonna be very confused when he logs on I really need to invest in an axe and a shovel. I just have to show you this from this angle here I think the NWC house looks amazing but that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>